date for this highly anticipated welterweight fight. Diaz is one year the elder. He will have a two-inch reach advantage. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds of the UFC welterweight division. Introducing first. Good jab landed right away by Nick. Big left hand there inside. Oh! Oh! Huge right hand! Oh, big left hook there! Both guys have proved to be dangerous in the opening seconds of this fight. Lands a hard hook to the head. Vicious combo there! Big punches here. Oh! Well, he got his head snapped back there, Joe. The straight punch lands flush to the head. And again, he's just not doing things defensively. Oh! He tagged him! This could be it right here. Oh, very nice. Lands flush with that right hand. Oh. Lands a kick. Bridge gets caught by the inside leg kick. A few more, and that'll be the ball. We got tagged there. Back and forth we go. Diaz gets caught with that punch. Don't be afraid to get that head off the center line. He clipped him with that one. Nice combination. Oh, how about the output for this fighter here? A lot of good time shots there, and they're all landing. He lands it to the leg. Going to the body now with that hook shot. Nicely done by Diaz. Good defense there. Diaz. Oh! oh man. And he's got him hurt here. Knee to the body. The left hook hits home. Big right hand. Good combination by Diaz. Looks like it did style oh. a little bit. Flying knee and lands it right on the button. Yeah, Joe, devastating is one way to put it as he uses the knee to get the stoppage victory here tonight. This is one of the bigger wins of his UFC career. And when it comes to those knee strikes, oftentimes it's less about the velocity and more about the precision, the accuracy, the location of that strike. He landed it right on the chin, and that spelled the end of the night for his opponent. Let's see it one more time. Well, what a moment for this fighter here tonight.